I have an idle transformer on hand. We only need to add a few capacitors to it to make a simple lithium battery spot welding machine. And I'm going to tell you a little bit about how it's made. First prepare a wooden board as a base. The transformer used here is a 12 volt 3 AMP. Secure it to the base. The output current of the transformer can be used if it is lower or higher. It just affects the charging speed of the capacitor. The higher the output current of the transformer, the faster the capacitor can be charged. In this way, it can be charged in time for continuous spot welding. The capacitor uses four electrolytic capacitors with a withstand voltage of 25 volts and a capacity of 10,000. It is necessary to note that the withstand voltage of the capacitor needs to be more than 1.5 times higher than the output voltage of the transformer. Otherwise, it is easy to cause the capacitor to overpress, and we will avoid using these four capacitors. To increase the overall capacity, the bigger the capacitance, the bigger the discharge current. Thicker slits can be welded when welding lithium batteries. Because the discharge current is relatively large, so in parallel current, we need to use thicker copper wires for parallel connection. Because the transformer outputs an alternating current, the capacitor cannot be charged directly. So between the stimulus output of the transformer and the capacitor, we need to connect a rectifier bridge or a diode. Convert the alternating current output by the transformer into direct current to charge the capacitor. The output positive electrode is marked on the side of the rectifier bridge stack. Negative is the output negative. The middle two corners of the eyes are the AC inputs that connect the secondary windings of the transformer. There is no need to distinguish between positive and negative electrodes on the AC input side. You can pick it up however you want. At the primary winding of the transformer, which is the 220 volt power supply input, we connect the power cord for easy connection and plug-in. The plates are at both ends of the capacitor. We can combine an LED with 1K resistors to make a simple circuit for a power indicator. The positive and negative ends of the electrolytic capacitor are the output ends, which are used to connect the spot welding pen. Spot solder pins can be replaced with copper wire. Insulating heat shrinkable tube on spot welding pin. This is his circuit diagram. Such a simple spot welding machine is completed. When we need to use it, we connect the power supply and wait for the capacitor to charge. The charging speed of the capacitor depends on the capacity of the capacitor and the output current of the transformer. After it is fully charged, we only need to lean the two spot welding needles against the battery and the slight belt to perform spot welding. If you are also interested in idle transformers, you can also DIY a spot welding machine by yourself. 